Why do we hold back watching life and leadership from the sidelines instead of daring to shine, align and thrive? And maybe even dance in the aisles. Isn't it fascinating how a simple entrance can send our adult brains into a tailspin? I'm strutting through the audience and I can feel the mixed emotions swirling through the room. Some of you look like you were thinking, don't pick me, don't pick me, don't get me up. But imagine if I danced into a room full of fearless four-year-olds. They'd catch the rhythm and they'd employ more joy and they'd groove along without a moment's notice. So when did we start clinging to the safety of our seats? Today, I'm going to unpack how we as leaders can tap into that latent potential of fearlessness and forge forward-facing futures for ourselves, our teams and our organisations. As leaders, we're expected to make the tough decisions. Decisions that dare us to be more than before. Your energetic sense of self is who you are as a leader. I think her presentation was extremely engaging. She is a very powerful person. And I really take that as a reflection on how I sort of want to be moving forward in my leadership roles. My own journey from broke and broken hearted to building two award winning high value national and international businesses has taught me that the holy grail of this new way of being and this new way of leading is underpinned by just one thing, mastery. Mastery means to deliberately control the three essential elements that will transform your leadership, your life and your business. And we do that simply by daring to think differently, to feel differently and to act differently. You get what you focus on, whether you want it or not. I found her presentation extremely inspiring. Diane gave me some tools which is really going to help me shift my thinking and help me in the future. I just loved her energy from the minute she um, walked into the room. It had me energised and so she kept me focused um, for her whole presentation. Here's your chance to tap in to your latent potential of fearlessness by aligning with what I call the feel-good factor. I would like two volunteers to join me on stage. Oh, right, okay, one, two. Jeez, it's a bit like Diana Ross and The Temptations, isn't it? <laughs> We're not singing, we're good to go. We're made to synchronise with each other and with our environment. By dancing together, our brain got a whole workout. Now is your new tomorrow. What you think, you will create. What you feel, you will attract. And what you do, will forge your future.